<laughs> what are we doing today, John? We're doing dragon fruit drinks. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's an actual piece of fruit. Oh. This is about a microphone. So we're going to have to speak a little louder today. Dragon fruit. <laughs> In honor of Year of the Dragon. This is crazy, eh? Look Yeah, we're not... Not all the drinks are dragon fruit. Um, they all have dragon in the name of them. So uh, these are all, like I said, in honor of Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon. Oh, yeah. Well, I have never seen one of these before. I don't know about you. Have you ever seen Have you even tried it? I've never tried it. I, I've never seen inside one before. <laughs> I, I have to look up, you know, what, what they're about. It's, the actual name of it is a pitaya. Oh. And it's indigenous to southern Mexico, Guatemala, Costa Rica, stuff like that. They are cultivated, though, in uh, Asia and so on. It's a relative, it, it's a type of cactus. Ah, oh, that makes type sense. Type of cacti, I guess, is the right way to say it. Um, the, um, there are three types of them. There's uh, white, red, and yellow. That is clearly a red one. That's the one that, most that is most commonly used, and you can see why they call it dragon fruit, because of the scaly-looking uh, scaly looking outside of it. This is what it looks like inside, though, this particular <laughs> one, anyway. Isn't this creepy? Look at that. Isn't that weird-looking? Bizarre. I don't yet know what they taste like, but we're going to find that out soon because the first one we're doing is, well, this, the, the first one is cheating a little bit. So it is Year of the Dragon. This one is Daenerys, Mother of Dragon. So if any of you have ever watched Game of Thrones, you know what that's about. The color of it will show you why it's named after Daenerys. What you do is you pull one of those out, you put the flesh into a blender and you puree it. You don't have to add any liquid because it's really watery. Like I said, yeah, I know, it's kind of gray color. Oh. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a variety of cactus, so plant being a succulent, it's going to be quite watery already. We're going to pour the whole thing in there, there's one dragon fruit's worth. A simple cocktail really. We're going to use a lemon's worth. We're going to we would have squeezed the whole lemon into it. I need more than one lemon's okay. worth of juice though, so I'm going to put about half of that in. So how much actual juice is there that you need? Uh, a lemon will give you about two ounces of juice. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, for the sake of the recipe. Um, and powered by, I'm going to go two ounces of white rum. I'm using my uh, standby here, the Florida Canna four year white rum, four year old white rum. Now, I've never tried dragon fruit, so I'm so curious as to what this is going to taste like. I yeah, mean, you know, I don't, I'm not convinced that I ever have either. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I haven't. That's so this is uh, we're putting it all on the line for you folks. <laughs> we are here for you. Yeah. Now the reason we have to, uh, yeah, you know, we forgot to set up the microphone. We literally got home last night. We were away at a convention in Vancouver, so oh, yeah, I was tired. It was really fun. It was a build up, such as a building construction. Um, Show, which is always kind of cool to see what's new, especially when it comes to technology and building technology. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I have no excuse for being tired. <laughs> yes. I didn't do anything. Well, I did stuff, but nothing. Well, you went to the show. I just had to look at it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. This I'm is, excited. um, so they say to garnish it with, <laughs> this doesn't really seem to fit to me, but uh, whatever. Look at this thing. I mean, it's, oh, look at this. Okay, this is wild. So this is probably the weirdest drink we've ever made. I think this is more Halloweenish. This is wow. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, look at this. Look at that garnish, first of all, and then look at that drink. Isn't that crazy? 
I mean, I have no idea. Hi, Ruth Um, I don't know what this is going to taste like. All right. So, we'll try the drink first. Then I got to, can I take a bite of this? I don't yeah, know what yeah, sure. Okay. You might not want to after you try the drink. This is Mother of Dragon. Oh, that's good. That's really refreshing. Of course, I won't drink it, but you know, okay. It's, it's good. I like it. It's, I wouldn't expect it to be. <laughs> it's a little tart, so I guess you kind of peel a little bit. I'm not really sure. I've never, ever tried this before. It's got all these little teeth in it. Maybe I'll have them all through my teeth. Right. My good. Yuck. It's kind of tasteless, to be perfectly honest. It's not really, it, it's more like, I don't know, it's like half vegetable. It's what, it's what I, um. <laughs> what you don't like? Well, that doesn't taste bad. What did you, what happened to that? I like this, though. So, I think that was, okay, okay. so you can see where we we're, I'm going to be uh, drinking the drink and he's going to be eating the fruit. Yeah, so, um. again, I mean, you know, we're, we're going to give you our, we're not going to pretend everything's good because. At least half of what I make uh, goes down the drain because it's. I think we said that last week. Not to my drink. taste. No, I had to wash the glass. Oh, did you? <laughs> so down the drain I went. I actually like this. It's got um, lemon juice in it. I think I would like it. Okay. Okay. So there you go. There you go. One that one that she likes that I do not. Mm-hmm. Moving right along. This one looks like a little. Yeah, like a little cat, right? <laughs> yeah, that you don't feed after midnight kind of pet. <laughs> So, um, next up mm-hmm. is a red drag. This one. Oh, it's going to be that stuff there. Well, they didn't call for this. It's not part of the recipe. But A, it's delicious, and B, it's red. So, right? And what is it? Uh, sorry, this is the Empress 1908 Elderflower Rose Gin. I'm getting away with this because. Like I mentioned last week, it's not it's not overwhelmingly elderflower or rose. Sorry. Chief is having a field day with sweet potatoes. Oh, oh, I see. So I'm just gonna show you this bottle again just in case, because this is from Empress Gin and you can see it's red versus the purple. Isn't that look good? I feel like I should know how to wish Happy New Year in Mandarin. Okay, well, maybe next time you can work on that, eh? <laughs> Do you? No, I have no idea. Not a clue. Let's see. Um. Don't do the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that was... I, I've done that one today. Oh, okay, good. Right. Um, Gung Hei Fat Choi. Gung Hei Fat Choi? Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, the juice... From one blood orange. These things are cool. Um, they taste more or less the same as an orange. Not quite as sweet, maybe. Or this could just be this one. She was going to show you a slice of it here. Um, but you get this bright red color. The other cool thing that you could do with this, if you happen to have one of those dehydrator things, or if you have a friend with it, do a bunch of slices and dehydrate it, and it makes great garnishes. Oh, we should do that. Right? Is that right? Yeah. I mean, so, like, so here's regular Seville, no, I'm sorry, navel oranges dehydrated, right? So you get a very, very cool looking product with, with the red flesh. It, it looks really neat. Cool. We are going to, um, oops, I got the wrong we're going to use three quarters of an ounce of blood orange juice. Where did you find the blood oranges? Because I know you sent me on a mission one time. Yeah. The blood oranges, dragon fruit, and the lychee uh, all came from the, uh, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's the fruit and vegetable market on Granville Island. So if you want to make it, just whoop on over to the Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can find it in Victoria, but these guys have everything. Oh, that's cool. Except, apparently, yuzu. I was looking for yuzu for a recipe. I couldn't find it. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Oh, 
boy. So far, it sounds good. It's not quite as experimental as the last one. Yeah. And what else is going to do? Did you put in ground margarine already? Oh, you did. You, huh? you were showing the. Oh, I see. But Alex is not even up. Awfully sweet. Yeah, you know, I last time I second guessed it, I blew it. Yeah. So. I'm going to stick to the recipe this time, boys and girls. Nice, give it to world. What a beautiful day today, hey? Okay, and I'm apparently going to leave the golf cart at Rosetta Stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was a blizzard on the map. It's like five minutes. Every time we go away, we're coming home, there's a blizzard. So. Yeah, right? I don't know. Mm. That's all you're doing. Snacks in here. Doesn't that look pretty? That's very good. Okay. Good. Mmm. That's gummy. You know what? I, I keep the grunge in. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's not that sweet. It is very red. Yeah. You definitely would love it, Rose. I think this one is kind of like a Cosmo. It's kind of got that taste to it, but better. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that is the right amount of grenadine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definite, definite crowd pleaser, that one, I think, people. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's so good. Last but not least, this one. I put some Prosecco in this half. Is it from Mimosas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you totally could. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call. There you go. She ought to be doing the show. No, not a chance. <laughs> The next one um, calls for a little bit of prep. So um, we needed ginger infused vodka. I feel like this is the closest to an actual oriental um, based drink. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to use a ginger infused vodka. And how did you do that? Well, the recipe calls for a bottle of vodka and half a cup of crushed ginger. I'm not going to do that. If you do the math, <clears throat> it is uh, two ounces of vodka to about uh, 10 grams of crushed ginger. Okay. And that's about, uh, it's around a teaspoon or something. I, I, I weighed it. I didn't measure it. So, um... What you do is you take that, you put it in a little jar or something, you seal it and you swish it around every once in a while. You're supposed to leave it for three days to fully infuse. Um, we try to make up for that by swishing it around more. So we'll see how that went. So, and then you, uh, and then you strain the ginger particles out. You're left with this slightly yellow looking thing. Yeah, don't miss it. Don't mix it up for lemon juice, because that's what it looks like. Yeah, I know, right? Stick it in your fridge. Oh, good morning. So, um, an ounce and a half of ginger-infused vodka. Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Next thing that isn't readily available is lychee syrup. It might be readily available. I just made it. Um, again, like a... Like I said, um, that place on Granville Island, uh, the, in the public market there, 
has everything, uh, including leachy nuts or leachy fruit. Which look like shrimp. Yeah, they're they're kind of weird, yeah. So um, they look like a red version of those things that fall out of the horse chestnut trees around here every fall. So what you do is you peel them, you peel that red spiny kind of bark off them, and it, yeah, it looks like a raw shrimp with a nut inside. Yeah. Um, dozen of those, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water. You boil it and you cook it down a little bit. Then you let it sit, you squish up the um, lychees, I guess you'd say. I, I guess they're fruit. Um, and then uh, strain it and here's what I'm left with. All that for a splash of lychee syrup. <laughs> now this is a high maintenance drink, just to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. But they look weird. I thought he was actually cooking shrimp, and I'm like, what are you doing? Drink shrimp for the drink. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, if you wanted to, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we have some up there. What? There is, there is a uh, product called Soho Lychee Liqueur. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, and you could probably use that in place, and that would up the alcohol content a little bit more anyway. So we're gonna, I figured we should do it that way. Juice from the full blood orange. Oh weird, with the um, ginger cumin cream, right? Add uh, this, we... Add the ice. Blue. Probably enough for that. This one's going in the soup box. Overall, long weekend, family day. Hope you're all spending time with your family. So, that's another pretty pink one. We don't spill this one right up though. <laughs> Do that. Now, if you want to spice this up a bit, you could go with ginger beer. Uh, I mean, it, try it, try it the way it says, and then yeah, you want to garnish it with the. What do you do with this? It's going to get filled with water. Okay, well let's let, let's go do. <laughs> the fruits are rather big. I'm going to put in one of the dehydrated ones. Yeah, the other nice thing with the, the other nice thing with the dehydrated ones is that they float. The other one's not so much. Yeah, they're big blood oranges. All right, which one of that? Again, a nice color, and I'm always just going to dump it, aren't I? Okay. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's good. That's really good. <coughs> no. Liar. Well, no, I'm not lying. It's good. It's just I like the other one better. It's, um, you can definitely taste the ginger, and it's, but if you like ginger, I'm not a huge ginger fan, right? So if you don't, yeah. if you are a ginger fan, I'm sure that would be bang on. Yeah? yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah, very, very unique, very, I don't know, to me that tastes, that tastes like going out for Chinese food. Yeah, well, so it actually kind of tastes like going for sushi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, if, especially if you eat that pickled ginger stuff, maybe you could, uh, mm. You might even you put some of that in it. Please garnish it with it. Yeah, no, it might be weird, but it is. So, um, happy Year of the Dragon, all who celebrate it. Well, happy Year of the Dragon to everybody, even if you don't. I used to think I was a dragon. I was uh, <laughs> like a literal dragon. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm a race car. <laughs> I know we dressed you up on Halloween one time. I think we put a dragon hat. Yeah, if not, we will this year now, but okay. It's a 12 year cycle, um, and being 60 this year, five cycles ago is when I was born, right? So that was the year of the dragon. I went through half my life, well, about a third of it now, thinking that I'm year of the dragon until I finally clued in that I looked it up. Year of the dragon in 1964 happened after my birthday. So I'm like a rat or a pig or a rabbit or whatever comes before. Something a whole lot less 
erratic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm the same. If there's any consolation. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So, no, no consolation at all. No. But thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Together we can be here as a rat. That's good. All right. So that's it. Um, join us next week when we will uh, hopefully not have to yell at you next time. <laughs> we'll remember the damn microphone. Yeah, I'll just think about um, it. And more permanently, happy family day. Yeah, enjoy your time with family and go out and uh, enjoy the weekend. I have no idea what we're going to be doing because first we have to kind of clue into what we, where we are, <laughs> what we're doing now. We're doing nothing this weekend. Oh, apparently we're doing nothing this weekend. Yay! No plans. All right. Okay, folks. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you next week.